Hi guys, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets with the X98 Air. It's running Windows 10 now. So I've updated using the media, create media application that you can download from the Microsoft website. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. You can go directly from Windows 8.1 Bing and download that and apply the update on the tablet, which is exactly what I've done here. So you can see it's still kept the background here, which is that nice Bora Bora Tahiti looking Hawaii background which is good to look at and the installation time took about 40 minutes it was very slow now the downloads about three gigabytes but the installation time was well painfully slow actually it did take a long time and I was waiting around looking at the tablet and ended up having to plug the charger in but it's almost fully charged now it took that long so you know it is slow but so you do be patient with that couple of things uh, that I've noticed here, so the screen orientation is not working at the moment. So if I go into the device manager, we'll have a look at that and I'll show you that it's come up with an error there. Um, actually it hasn't at the moment, so Windows, but the problem is the, uh, the Conex accelerometer and this green didn't seem to be moving around, but actually I've already fixed it. Rotation, rotation lock was on, so that's stopping that from happening. So it should be working now, but you can come up with a problem here. So if you do have that, there are drivers that are available off my website for Windows 10 that will fix that. Now those drivers are coming directly from Tech, tech Glass themselves here. So I'm just gonna do a quick test. Yeah, okay, the screen orientation is working fine now. So I actually didn't really have a problem here with that, but others have. So that is actually working okay there. Now the free available space, I did actually have a large amount of space available that was free, about 20 something gigabytes, because this is the 64 gigabyte version. And that is now down to about 10, 10 gigabytes here, which is um, quite a lot really when you think about it. So my free space is hardly anything. Now Windows is activated, you can see there. When I first booted it up, it said that um, it couldn't activate or there's a problem, but I just tapped the activate button and that seemed to do the trick there and fix things. So if we get back onto desktop mode, it's taking a while to get used to using. So out of tablet mode, so I'm back and have a look at the desktop here and I'll just show you the free space. So I've got 10.5 gigabytes free at the moment. And what you can do is you've got a folder here called Windows Old. Now that will be the old Windows installation and it's probably going to take too long to show you this. But I think it's a good 5 or 6 gigabytes there. That, I mean, what is it now? 4.3. Once you delete that, that will free up a bit of space there. But the whole update did take up quite a bit there. So not too happy about that. Actually, look, it's, it's all turning out to be 7. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of space that you can free up. I'm just going to let that run there for a little bit. Another thing too that I noticed that I've got a couple of things here in Chinese, so you need to fix that, and it's pretty easy to do. So if you go down to the search bar here and bring up, see I've got things here in Chinese. It's to do with the region settings and location. So if I bring up the keyboard here and just type in, it will come up hopefully with, there we go, control panel. Region and language settings is one of the ones here. And I need to just change this here. Like I've already changed it now to United Kingdom, something I just did before. I removed Chinese. I have English US there. But the other thing we need to do is to go to the administration settings. So if you go to where it says region here, change date, time, number, formats, this is the little menu here that you want. So you can go to administration, copy settings, and you'll see here that the welcome screen is still displaying Chinese and so is the new user account. So often when you're going to go to reboot, it will come up in Chinese. So we need to change that and it's going to cause the whole tablet to reboot. So I'm not going to do that at this moment, but all you need to do is click both of those, touch both of those little tabs there and you see now it's all with my settings there, which is what you want. Hit OK and the tablet will want to restart on you so that we reboot. I'm not going to actually just do that at the moment. Now another thing too, sorry that I forgot to mention, that when I ran the Windows installation for Windows 10, everything was in Chinese. You just got to keep hitting next, 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 and it'll, it'll be in Chinese installation, the progress bar, 
the percentage will come up. It'll be in Chinese. Don't worry, I found out that once I could reboot the tablet, at least on the C5J6 model that I have here, that eventually that when it did come back up and everything was installed and set up, that it was in English. So there's not too much of a problem. Look, actually, I, I was completely off. Look, there's 13, almost 14 gigabytes that I can free up now. So that'll give me 24 gigabytes free on a 32 gigabyte drive there. So that's not too bad. You know, that's that's okay. So obviously the new operating system is going to take a little while to get used to because I was quite happy doing the side swipe and adjusting the brightness, but you can still do the swipe. And now you do have uh, the screen brightness here that you can set in percentage levels. You can find tweak it by going to settings. And then you can go along here and adjust the brightness level manually. So if you want like 58% as your little magical number there with brightness, then you can do that. But I'm just going to keep it 100 here for the purposes of this video. Uh, so screen orientation, everything seems to be working. Now the cameras, they are also working. Again, I'm trying to swipe and use the camera doing that. So if I go, um, where is camera? So all applications obviously be the easiest way for me to find it. I could just type camera right in there. So here we go, camera. Perhaps I should be using tablet mode. You know? So that's the rear facing camera, I think. Yes, it is. And uh, it is working. Let's see if I can just put something under here. So there we go, it's a USB stick. So that, that's fine, the camera's working. And so is the front facing camera. There are no camera issues, at least on the 64 gigabyte C5, J5 model that I have here, which is, which is the latest one. And that's the front facing camera there looking at my air conditioning unit and my hand. So it, it's all working. So far so good. Uh, Edge browser, yeah, not bad. Seems pretty fast. Okay, so it's gonna come up in Spanish because I'm in Spain and it's using the geolocation there. So now I'll just bring up tech tablets. It's gonna come up in, whoop. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit hard to type because I have the, the tripod right here. That's my excuse. Oh, now tablets is there. Ah. Okay. Final go. Bring this side up. It seems quite quick. If you click anything with flash, I have noticed that what it wants to do is go over and use Internet Explorer 11 for some reason, maybe, maybe, I don't know, Edge doesn't like Flash so much. So it's very smooth, very fast, and the tablet is running really quite good. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with the speed of Edge. So if I click here, that's actually a Flash application which shows all the users online, and it comes up saying this, open with Internet Explorer, so, oh, okay. Doesn't want to run an Edge bit weird that is, but um, oh well. So it, it runs good, uh, the speakers work, the volume, everything, everything I can see so far and I have tested is, is working completely fine here. So I'm just going to YouTube. Actually what I should do is just give you a quick demonstration of using tablet mode. So that brings up now the whole menu thing here that's happening. So you can use the start menu and it becomes this grid formation, something similar to what we see in Windows 8.1 there. So I go back into Edge and now it's running it like in a metro mode there, you know, what, what was metro mode. So it brings up the keyboard automatically in tablet mode. So youtube.com there. And just a random video and see how that runs. Planes landing in very windy conditions. With advertising everywhere. Full screen it. Looks good, runs good. And I'll see if I can change that to 1080p or something. AP. Yeah, and that works. End of the clip there. So overall, 
not bad. And if you want to upgrade to Windows 10, I no, I can, I can recommend it. It seems okay. You're going to have to adjust a little bit to getting used to the menus again. But then you have those cool kind of options about going into tablet mode and then not using tablet mode back into desktop mode. Uh, another thing I'll just quickly show you too is the settings. You can roll back to Windows 8.1 if you want to. Click here into the update and security. If you go into recovery, you've got this little option right here. See that? Go back to Windows 8.1. So it's going to allow me, I think it's keeping the recovery partition of Windows 8.1 there still. So it'll just revert back to that. I don't completely know the whole way it works, but I'm just assuming that that is what it does. I'm sure someone else who's more clued up about that will know. Um, do leave a comment, but I think that's what it's going to do. And after the month, they're going to force you onto Windows 10. By then, you'll probably be used to it and you'll be keeping it anyway. So, But you can revert back if you want. Now, as I mentioned, activation. It first came up and said it wasn't activated, but I just hit activate again and it worked. So it's Windows 10 Home, not Bing, but it's the same kind of thing. So it's just the, the basic version of Windows 10. It's not Pro or anything like that. And Enterprise, no. So just the pro version. And do remember to delete, if you are going to keep it, just go in there and make sure you do delete that Windows old folder because that's taken now pay 14 gigabytes. Well, at least my one is. Probably is a little bit larger my one because I did run some Windows updates. So you can get rid of that, kill that, give yourself some free space. And probably what a lot of people are thinking, well, hang on, is Android still there? Is it still working? Yes, it is still there. Android's still there, and I could just go in now and probably going to flash over a Merrick 190 ROM, show you that maybe in an upcoming video. He's got some good ROMs now. There's a uh, version 4.2 out, which I do recommend. Way, way, way better than that laggy bloatware that TechLast uses a stock ROM. That's I don't like their stock ROMs at all. And yeah, Merrick's got some good ROMs. He even has an Android 5.1, so if you want to run Android 5 and Windows 10 and feel special because you've got both the latest operating systems there, you can do that too. But I do recommend Merrick's version 4.2 at the moment, and it's KitKat 4.4, but it's just a lot more stable than the Android 5.1. Okay, so I think I've talked enough here and just showed you a little bit there of Windows 10. Very quick look, I you know, can't really show you that much, but yeah, the apps are all running in different windows as well, but you probably already knew that from looking at other things on Windows 10. Thank you for watching the video, and hopefully I will catch you in some more up-and-coming videos. Bye for now.